Taking a live look at a local apartment complex in Rebald, where a massive fire left children hurt and families without homes. Action News Jax broke the news last night about that fire that hurt seven people. Now, this is video of flames spreading from that building of what's now the Callaway Cove Apartments. For years, it was called Washington Heights. Right now, last night, six people were rushed to the hospital. And this noon, we now know three children and one adult are in critical condition fighting for life. That fire forced at least 12 families out of their homes in the middle of the night. The Red Cross is helping nine of the families affected. Action News Jax has team coverage now. We're investigating what caused that fire. We'll start with Action News Jax, Elizabeth Pace. And Elizabeth, the management of that apartment complex is looking for new homes for those affected by the fire now. The management told me that they're trying to get everyone a new apartment by tonight. We can see some of the tenants are over there. This is as close as we can get. It's their front office right here. They say they're working with all of those people who lost their home in the fire. American Red Cross told us that actually they helped 20 adults and 10 children who lost nearly everything. Neighbors are telling us this is a hard moment for the community. It was like an explosion. Like some say, boom. When they did that, it set the whole apartments all the way down on fire. This is what they were up against, a massive fire spewing from every angle of the building. Pamela Butler says she saw a man run inside to save a family who was trapped. The man had the baby in his arm just like this. And he said, please, please look at him. He's burning. JFRD says seven people were hurt. Three children and an adult are in critical condition. Serena Harris told me she talked with police, who told her all three were badly burned. We're working to get an update on their condition. So and I heard a loud boom, and then the fire just started spreading real fast, like really fast, and I was like, oh my God, like I hope everybody got out of the house. Harris showed us what these families have to come home to. This is new video of the damage. Some people lost everything. Some people lost a lot. Um, y'all say y'all prayers to the family and their friends. Um, this is a hard moment for the community right now. And the Red Cross told us they are trying to help these families in any way they can. Last night, they gave them money for a hotel and clothes, but that's just not enough for families who lost everything in this fire. And now neighbors are saying they're hoping for any donations to help get these families back on their feet. Reporting live in North Jacksonville, Elizabeth Pace, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.